Hey, this is Just Antoine. Welcome to the Repositioning Podcast. We're so excited for our second episode, and this is Miss Dion Pruitt we have here with us today. Hello. Um, we are excited about just helping you. Uh, we want to know where you are, what what you do for your business, um, and where you want to go. And so, um, tell us a little bit about yourself and what you got going on with your business. Well, my name again is Dion Pruitt. I am a uh, retired educator and I now work with people trying to address all of their abilities that they have holistically. So I'm working to coach people on learning daily habits to develop, to improve their mental, social, and physical well-being. Okay. And so... Um, how do you go about helping people generally? Generally, what has to happen is that we have a, um, a consultation. And in the consultation, people will tell me what it is that they are concerned most about. Once we come to maybe one or two things that they are really concerned about, then we'll start kind of going through their diet and their daily habits to help modify what um where they're trying to get to okay and so um say if i had problems with my lower back how how would you if that was a main concern for me mm -hmm. what what type of things would you start thinking about or trying to address or questions that you would ask me well starting off with your lower back number one we're going to look at what type of shoes you're wearing what type of support you're lending uh, through your balance and through your gait, uh, a lot of walking, a lot of standing, your feet need the right support. Then uh, we're going to look at maybe do some type of an assessment as to what type of foods you're eating. If you're eating a lot of foods that's high in fat, if you're eating a lot of foods that's high in sugars, uh -huh. because we know that the sugars help to determine or help to create mucus that settles within our bodies and everybody is different. And if your area of weakness is in your back, then your mucus will kind of flow towards that area. And so we want to do things like taking magnesium baths, Epsom salt baths, uh, incorporate Epsom salt in your, um, I guess kind of like as a supplement daily. Um, so like in the form of a pill or something like that? You can take it in the form of a pill. They have now water that is infused with um, not Epsom salt, but magnesium. It's infused with uh, magnesium. It used to be that you would have certain places that you can buy it, but now you can definitely um, buy it in the grocery stores, and it's already infused for you. Okay, great, great. So uh, we know that we're still in a pandemic. Yes. And um, things are, you know, really crazy and we really just don't know um, as a general what to believe about this virus, you know, and yes. the different strands that's out there. What kind of information are you giving your um, people that you're consulting about um, COVID if they have COVID mm -hmm. or if they're afraid of catching it and they want to maybe boost their immune system? to fight it all? Mm -hmm. um, actually, there are several different things that, um, that I can give advice to in reference to, I guess, building your immune system okay. as well as helping to develop your lungs that will help you fight if you're in the situation where you've already been diagnosed as being positive. Um, some of the herbs that I definitely uh, suggest would be um, ginger and turmeric. Whenever we're talking about turmeric, we're asking that you would incorporate black pepper uh, with it to help make your body bioviable, which means that our bodies don't always digest certain um, supplements or certain herbs and minerals as it should so sometimes it needs some help incorporating a black pepper opens your body up on the inside to reach out and grab it pull it in 
and be able to work for you. I also, um, I make what I call um, a couple of things to kind of help out with the virus. Number one, I have an inhaler okay. that I, um, I put together using a combination of many essential oils. Of course, definitely the ginger and turmeric are a large part of everything that I do as far as uh, immune building and also uh, to help decrease the amount of inflammation because we know viruses or viral um, components help to build the mucus in your body. And that's what takes over your system is the negative mucus that's there. Ginger is a drying um, herb. And so when we intake the ginger, it helps to dry the mucus on the inside. One of the other things before the pandemic came that I was helping um, a lot of people that had allergies and asthma with was to learn to incorporate using uh, eucalyptus. Mm -hmm. Eucalyptus gets in and it helps to strengthen and helps to develop the capacity of your lungs. And so when you're intaking it, and you know, just kind of hold your breath. A lot of times when people get my COVID inhalers, they will in, take a big inhaler with it and then they start choking, they think. It's not that they're choking, it's just that the, um, the eucalyptus and the other oils, the ginger and everything is getting down into the circulatory system and it balloons the lungs. So it opens it up. It opens it up, which causes you more air, more right. breath. And you're not used to that at that one time. Right. And then it feels like right. Right. And right. And that's I mean, if you get to the point to where you can inhale and you have that burst and you need to cough, you're doing what you're supposed to do. Most of the people that die from COVID, they don't die from COVID. They die because they have developed mucus in their lungs and they die of um not being able to breathe. It's like a suffocation. Yes, yeah. and so that eucalyptus and the other oils get into the lungs and develop it um, and cause it to open up, and that's what you want. You want your lungs to open up. Right, right. So um, give us one or two testimonies that you, you oh, have. Wow. Uh, I know you have a lot, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> because we were, we've been, yeah. we're almost, what, two years in, in the two pandemic? Two years into the pandemic. Um, I have many, many testimonies from New York, Florida, California, of course right here in Houston, Texas. Um, I think one of the one of the stories that kind of resonate with me really um, really hard is a young lady here and she said that she had some relatives there in Florida. So I um, made them what I call the the COVID blend C19 and I sent it in the form of just an oil you can drop into the uh, the diffuser okay. and put the properties in the air and then as well as the inhaler. And when I guess a couple of days had passed by and I called her to check on a loved one and she didn't respond. And then maybe a couple of hours later, she texted me and she said, God bless you. And I thought, oh goodness, I hope the person didn't pass on. Then later she finally responded and said the young man was out cutting the grass. And I thought, today? And she said, no, a couple of days ago. She was really upset about it. But to me, that was a testimony for him to be able to leave the hospital and get out into his yard and do some of the things that he may be thought he would never return to be able to do. So that was a celebration for him in his own way. Right, because it, I've heard that it can zap all your energy and you gotta relearn how to walk, relearn how to right. do everything because right. it, it just really takes control over your body. It does. Um, and makes you weak and to a degree right. that you don't wanna. <laughs> you don't wanna be, right. right, right. And that's one of the things that I don't know if uh, a lot of people really understand is once you have COVID, then there's a um, there's a time period afterwards because your body has been in such a deficit 
you know, for, for a certain period of time, you have to rebuild your energy. You have to rebuild the capacity in your lungs so that you can continue to uh, breathe as normally as you uh, had been. There are a lot of side effects that affect people that have been um, stricken with the COVID virus. Some, they have what they call the COVID tongue. And um, they tell me it feels kind of like you putting your tongue on a nine volt battery, oh, kind of yeah. like, you know, that numbness at the tip. Um, I've heard of children contracting things after they've gotten over the COVID, kind of like a rash okay. on their bodies. And uh, these are things that we have to be mindful of. Mm -hmm. These are things that we um, have to be very vigilant about once we see some things, especially in the children, because they may not communicate all of their feelings and may not know how to appropriately communicate what's going on inside of the body is right and so I'm asking that my parents be very um, dedicated to their children and uh, help them to look for different signs and things that that happen but definitely uh, I suggest that you make sure you continue to take your zinc your D3 um, B12 uh -huh. D3 is uh, your uh, vitamin D vitamin D uh-huh vitamin d3 yeah um they had you know they were having a lot of questions uh concerning the COVID about um the disparities and that kind of stuff within our african-american community and i think one of the studies that i think they named it the shade study and the shade study came out and and uh gave some facts about african-american people or people with color in regards to the virus. And one of the things was because the dark pigmentation in our skin, we're not getting enough sun okay. to help fight the, the virus. What COVID does is get into your chest cavity. That D3 goes into your chest cavity and helps you to be able to fight and builds, you know, help to build your, your, your ability to breathe and break down the mucus that's there. So yes, we need to definitely increase our our D three. Mm -hmm. well, great, great, great information. We're gonna take a break right here mm -hmm. and then come back for some more questions and see what you want to go. All right, thanks a lot. Conversation and we were talking about COVID and the effects and how it's affecting the African American community right. and how we need D three and but you were also telling me during break something about the stones and tell yes. me a little bit more about that. Yes, we have uh, certain gemstones that uh, we can use and wear. Um, one of the, uh, the gemstones that I have always felt really close to was fluorite. And they say fluorite helps to strengthen your organizational skills. It helps to increase your memory and the capacity to learn. So when you say fluorite, I, I think of fluoride, you know, and, and toothpaste. <laughs> yes. Is that something yeah. similar or what? Um, actually, it's, uh, fluoride is um, R-I-D-E, and this is ITE, I -T -E, F, okay. uh -huh, F L U O R I T E fluorite. And um it's a very high vibrational stone, okay. many colors. Uh, you'll see different hues of blues, um, pastel greens, purples, and the more certain colors that it has lend to different areas. They tell me that the darker uh, coloration in it, the blues and the purples, help to uh, strengthen your memory. 
right. and your uh, ability to learn. The green helps to strengthen your immune system, which uh, those are always bracelets and um, pendants and that kind of stuff I would make for my children to wear to school okay. because uh, it helps them in in the memory. And then it also would help um, boost their immune system so they, you know, would be uh, able to fight off just the daily, envi you know, environmental. So it ain't just about the bling bling. It's about, it's, you know, having no. some um, natural healing. Right. Right. My slogan for my for my stones is the beauty is in the healing. So it's you know, I, I want it to be as pretty or as handsome or really look, you know, like something that you would want to wear. Yes. But the 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 real the real deal is it's in the healing of that stone. Each stone has different properties that lend different things. And when you lay them on your body and when you, if you, if you should get a stone, then you should always remember to tell it what you want it to do. You, you, you give it the intentions or the intent on how you want that healing to, to go for you. To kind of manifest in your body. To right? help to manifest it. Yes. And so it's, it's coming when you think about it, when God made us, he made us out of dirt, right? Yes. <laughs> yes. And then he breathed into our nostrils and we became living souls. Yes. And so um, the properties that we're maybe um, not having in mm -hmm. us, you know, mm -hmm. we can substitute that with the stones mm -hmm. and you know, we, we have that creative power. So right, right. Uh, we can, we can command some things that the stone was designed to give us to come on out. Right? Exactly. Exactly. I want to say not substitute, but we want to aid those deposits that God has given us, you know, making them, um, more of a manifestation in not only our physical being, but, um, in our minds in our souls as well, you know, and that's why, um, we say holistic. So it's not just, being able to do things from a natural point or um, just the herbs or we want to use all of what God has given us. Okay. And so when you're, when you're, um, when you're talking about the stones and the herbs and things like that, there's a lot of things that we are doing to kind of destroy our bodies. Right. Right. And so, mm -hmm these things aid us in replenishing, replenishing, and restoring yes, rebuilding, things that we're rebuilding mm -hmm. things that we have damaged right. know, or has been damaged down through the years, maybe right. passed down. Exactly. Exactly. And those are things that we need to uh, educate ourselves on so that we can become more aware of it. Say like now we use more technology mm -hmm. and uh, the technology, whether we, really noticed it and I'm, I'm start telling my age now but when microwaves first came out there was a big deal I, I never forget when I was pregnant with my first child my daddy did not want me in the kitchen when the microwave was going so now you know um we've gotten so comfortable mm -hmm. with that technology until we we really don't even pay it any attention but there was some truth there because in the technology, it sends out different um, different waves of energy. And we want to be able to replenish and kind of back up some of those energies using uh, the natural things that God has given us, like black jade or uh, like the black tourmaline. Then you have different, different hues in those different deposits. You have green tourmaline, pink tourmaline. Okay. And these are all what we call um, different forms of energy, light energy. Right. So things have a lot of energy. You know, I was a science teacher for uh, a number of years. And, mm -hmm. you know, knowing that the periodic table and oh, things of all those things. Yeah. Um, and how, you know, those uh, relate to everything that mm -hmm. is around us. Right. And, you know, um, that and then you know the big one of the big talks now is the 5g okay and, yes and you know our yes. cell phones and the energy that it sends yes. off and how so tell us a little right. bit your thoughts on on those things well um with the 5g 
in the energies from the cell phones and the computers and that kind of stuff. Black tourmaline is excellent for grounding who you are and being able to deflect some of those energies so that they don't come up to you and you absorb all of them. Um, obsidian. Obsidian is a stone that has uh, a lot of, I guess, kind of shine to it. And what I understand is that that gloss of the shine of the obsidian stone and any other stones, it causes a deflection. So it mirrors it and throws it back, throws the negativity back away from you. Wow. Yeah. Wow. So you can, you can actually wear something that will protect you from um One of my favorite is, uh, let's see how you say it. I think it's apiolite. And those stones are very high vibrational stones. They're white, kind of um, clear. Then some have a variation of a real light green to them. And what happens is those stones not only deflect the negativity, but it helps to bring a high vibration which calms you okay, and helps build you back up. And so if I had a child that was really um, active and just had, you know, a lot of yes. I guess, energy uh -huh. and I really couldn't explain it, right. I could come to Dion and Dion will probably give me some stones that they can yes. wear. Yes. And, yes, yes, and some things yes. I can probably bathe them in and definitely, um, put definitely. In the diffuser, um, right, right, sleeping, and right. Of that and those are all things that uh, we definitely do. Uh, I make a lot of different, again, essential oil blends okay. that help to relax and calm you, help bring that um, that energy down. As so, now, my grandson, my grandson, been wearing wearing different stones all of his life and it really didn't done i mean he's five now but almost every picture he has from when he was a little fella you know a year old eight months he has some type of bracelet on and just knowing that um when he sees me then he's gonna ask me Gigi, you got a new bracelet for me you know he likes to be able to sleep in them because he says um it helps him to sleep better um, we have things like um, blue lace agate. It helps to give you that calming effect. Uh, Selena Knight gives you that calming effect. Uh, the black tourmaline protects you. You know, if they're having nightmares when they dream, then um, I have I, I put together based on consultations and based on the needs of of the children and adults as well, okay. whatever's needed. Okay, and so. Um you are, are, are a wealth of knowledge in the areas of uh, holistic living. Yes, right? yes. And um, and so we've, we've kind of been working together for mm -hmm. a couple of years. Yeah. And so uh, I, I know a little bit about your history. Mm -hmm. And so uh, I, I know that you, you are a very uh, valuable person. Why, thank you. You can, you can help a lot of people in a lot of different areas. Mm -hmm. so, uh, it's just a pleasure to have you on. Well, thank you. It's a pleasure being here. And, and so uh, we're going to get ready to take another break, mm -hmm. and then we're going to come back and see where, where you where you want to go. Let's do it. All right. Hi. We want to welcome you to JW's Place Soul Food and Barbecue. some of the best barbecue in town. I make the sauce myself, y'all. It's from scratch. You ain't gonna get it from nowhere else. Ribs, pulled pork, we got it down here. Fried chicken, whole smoked chicken. We got everything you want. This we ain't gotta drive through. So you ain't even got to be, get out your car. We'll come to you, anywhere you are. Okay, listen, come down to JW's place at 28533 Spring Trails Ridge here in Spring, Texas. 77386. Look, we are ready to serve you here. It is our pleasure at JW's place. JW's soul food and barbecue. Come on, get your barbecue. 
get you. And why you here? Mm. Look here. I throw you a wing. Oh, God. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Just like that. J Dub say, Soul Food and Barbecue. We're back with the Repositioning Podcast, and we got Miss Dion Pruitt with us, mm -hmm. and we are so excited to have you once again. Thank you. Um, so, what, where do you want to go? Say in uh, the next year, by the end of twenty twenty two, what what kind of things you want to see in your life, and where do you see yourself in business? Well. A lot. <laughs> I'd like to be able to. Uh, one of my things that um, once I retired in education, I went back to school and uh, I obtained a master's in food and nutrition and how it lends to public health. Okay. Then also continued and got a master's in complementary alternative medications yes. as it lends to public health. Now, with the public health, that educated me on knowing and understanding that there are a lot of disparities within the African-American community in okay. being able to deal with, um, with our well-being uh -huh. physically as well as mentally. So I would say in the next year, um, it is my prayer and my plan to have in place a um a system that will allow me to come in and serve the communities so that we could do education okay. one of the things that i'm real big on is definitely educating um families mm -hmm. because we know that families build relationships and in those relationships we pass a lot of habits yes. that we learn down generationally mm -hmm. And if we're relearning to recreate what our bodies have and what we do on a daily basis as a habit, then we are learning to give our children and our generations that are to come um, better education and how to take care of themselves, lending more of a support in order to build a generational wealth not only monetarily, but you can't make and spend what you can't make. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Because of your health. Right, right, right. Yeah. So we wanna we wanna be able to educate as many people in the communities and in our areas so that we can close in those disparities. Give us something to build on. Okay. So uh close the gaps. Close so, in those gaps. So um what so you you need a platform to be able to do this on and, yes you know because i was praying this morning and and i was really thinking about the children yes and mm -hmm. educating mm -hmm. children but you can't just educate the children without educating the, the parents. parents right right because mm -hmm. they rely so heavily on the parents, on the parents for mm -hmm. nutrition and right um, and and things of that nature. And so, mm -hmm. um, I I joined up with a group called the Black Wall Street New Generation mm -hmm. Nation, and what we are doing is putting together a platform where we can educate and where we can keep the money in. The, the black community. community yes longer than it is right now right. so it, it's it's a great disparity on that you know mm -hmm. and a lot of other uh nationalities they keep their money in their community in their community right much longer than we do right i think mm -hmm. ours is like three seconds and and mm. it's something's crazy like that and you have other communities it's like seven days nine days you know a couple of weeks and, and things of that nature and so um so our goal is to do that but we also want to uh educate the parents and educate the community and have our own grocery stores and things of that nature and so mm -hmm. we can put some 
things together right the things that you're talking about mm-hmm. that we need to know mm-hmm. so that we can um not just be wealthy uh financially right because right. we can't spend it if we're not right if we're, we're not, not healthy. healthy and we right. can't continue to make it and if we're not healthy if we're not healthy yes and so we want we want to live whole right and and we want to um really minister to the whole person right and and not leave a part out because if we leave the part out then you're not really wealthy whole. or you're not really whole yes right so yes. um um i believe that's a great platform that you can come on and assist us in helping our communities and mm-hmm. educating our communities and educating our families and mm-hmm. so that it can uh, produce a generational right because we're, we're you mm-hmm. know we're we're mm-hmm. it right now yeah, <laughs> yeah. The, the baton has been passed to us right in our generation and we really have to come up with some solutions and and put some plans in place to really help um our our next generation right you know, and those our that generation are that's behind here, us. those right. that are coming behind us, and even our children's children um, and their children. Um, so that's where we're we're going, and so um, we're creating a platform that you'll be able to do things like that, and it'll be readily accessible, and you'll have access mm-hmm. to um, the communities that you want to. Right, impact. right, right, right. That sounds great. Um, what I hear you saying is you're working with a network of people to help build a legacy. Yes. And that legacy is what we want to be able to have in place for our children to be able to come behind us. Um, I think it is very, very, very important that we start teaching our children and our families, our, um, we got to reach out to the parents and get the word out to them that it's going to be imperative that we change our diets, that we change our daily habits, that we change the way that we've been, um, living, I guess, maybe for the last 60 or 70 years, really, you know, some of the things that we stepped away from, we got real sophisticated, you know, and we, oh, we no longer grew go- uh, greens in a garden outside of Big Mama's window on the side of the house. You know, we um, growing up, we always had greens in the backyard, bell peppers, right? you know, um, uh, tomatoes, those kind of things. We always had things like that to see. But how many of our babies are seeing those things in their backyards today right, right. and so we want to get back from whence we came yes and that that's so important and just that you know um being able to see where things come from right you know and teaching our children how to learn and how to right. study and what's important and mm-hmm. things of that nature so we need to really take control because our our are we're we are failing our kids we are drastically drastically failing them a lot in just their diet you know when we're talking about feeding our babies i know we are working and we're doing what we need to do to get out there and make it happen for them but the end of the day when they sit down at the table or when we come together and eat um one of the things, first off, let me back up and say, do we even come to the table anymore right. and sit together and talk? Have, yes. Having these conversations are so very important and so needed for our children so that they can learn to communicate and they can learn what they need in order to be um, developing a complete and whole person within themselves you know yes i mean you know we are so distracted nowadays yes and if we do come to the table we're coming with our phones and yes and all this and we're not really paying attention to each mm-hmm. other mm-hmm. we're so distracted right and so we we need there's a lot of work to do there's a lot of work to do and it's going to really take a village to to make it happen yeah and we got to look at all aspects of our living our daily living right um and i really want to employ 
um, the churches to get involved. Yes. Um, are, are for the spiritual aspect, there's a yes. lot of stuff that we have to unlearn. Right. You know that mm -hmm. you know limiting behaviors that even in the church, right? You know um, mm -hmm. that we was exposed to that really is not biblically sound right. doctrine. Mm -hmm. You know, um, and so that's a whole nother area, right? A whole different subject. Uh, but <laughs> but it's still. If we're going to it's a really part of where we need to go. Right. If we're really mm -hmm. going to impact our, our communities, we really have to look at it holistically and really mm -hmm. touch base. And so um, with the Black Wall Street New Generation uh, Nation, we're really going to holistically look and um, taking over our communities back. And, right. And, and then uh, educating um, mm -hmm. each other. Mm -hmm. on what we really need because we, we're very talented people. Yes. And we've come a long way yes. in spite of um, yes. the oppositions that um, mm -hmm. befail us. Right. Um, but um, let's go. Let's go. Let's get it. And so I'm mm -hmm. committed to mm -hmm. getting, reaching 2,000, excuse me, 2,000 um, entrepreneurs mm -hmm. myself okay. and helping them and um, repositioning and, and getting on board with mm -hmm. changing our generations. And that's by the end of next year. Okay. And so I, I'm really on a mission and whatever I can do to assist you in mm -hmm. getting on the platform and, uh, and getting that literature together. Right. I want to use all the resources that God has given me to an aid. Mm -hmm. And I, I definitely appreciate that. And I receive it. I, um, with that being said, I can definitely see, um, some some classes coming forth where we will be able to sit and talk to our, um, I would say maybe sit and talk to a bunch of high schoolers mm -hmm. because they are the incoming generations to be new parents. Yes. We want to talk to those that are already in place, but grab them before they become. Yes. Start preparing them. And one of the things that we want to let them know is the type of foods that they're eating will definitely impact the way that they think, the way that their bodies are able to develop and heal. Uh, if we eating a lot of breads and pastas and sugars and that kind of stuff. We are welcoming the mucus. We are welcoming the diseases mm. to come into our bodies. Yes. See, we're welcoming our children not being able to go to school, sit and focus because the mucus is going to affect the mind and the brain, how they think, how they function, the different types of um, decisions that they can make Right, is going to be based on what we eat, junk in, our, junk out. Our intake. And, yes. And um, I'm reading the book. Um, Lemonist by Jim Quick, and he was talking about how the um, gut yes. and the brain they work communicate together. Oh yes, and they work yes. together. Yes, and so if we're if we're putting junk in our body, we're hindering our mind. Right, and so that's right. powerful. So we want right. to get that information out um, before we end. I, I did want you've been a part of the boss meeting. I have for uh, a. About a month or so? Yes, um, maybe a little better. A little better than a month. And yeah. Tell us a little bit about the boss meeting. Well, the boss's meeting is very, um, very powerful, I think. Uh, it's very refreshing. And um, we want to be able to come together and sit and communicate and learn to get on one accord with one another. Once we're able to build these communities and build a bond where we are on the same page for daily living and being able to think on the same level, um, being one accord, mm -hmm. then we can start educating the different communities throughout the world. Because if I'm not mistaken, you can correct me if I'm wrong, but I think there are people from Chicago that's on there, people from uh florida that's on there we're in houston and yes. god knows where else yes you know and so we want to be able to take that bosses meeting and, and and let's boss it yes boss up right boss up boss up boss up and and so yeah it's it's very uh profound and we get an opportunity to grow together and and help each other right 
right? We, right. We're really taking a community because everybody has their own expertise. Right. They have their own gifts and talents, mm -hmm. and then we can help one another. And so right. that's that's one of the things that we're doing in there, and we're growing and exercising our minds. Um, right. We do a book book club, right? Yeah. And, and yeah. um, that daily reading and that uh -huh. accountability piece that's mm -hmm. so important um, is, is really helping. Right, right. And, and I think I think we need um, we need more of it. Yes. So that um, we want everything that's good that we do to be really infectious. Yes. We want it to get out and spread. So if we are allowing McDonald's and Burger King and all of these people to feed us things that are becoming infectious in our bodies. We need to be able to come together as a community and learn the things that are going to be infectious to counteract yes. what we're eating and what we're drinking and yes. the yes. different lifestyles that we're learning, learning to meditate, learning to pray, learning to come together and to be able to teach our children. And it's not just about me, my, and I. Right. We don't have to compete. There's no competition in God's right. word. Right. We don't have to compete. We can None. help one another. There's a lot of work to be done. Yes. And we need everybody on hands board. on. <laughs> yes. 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 Hands on. Let's get and to so, it. Yes. Um, well, it's been a pleasure. We want to have you back. Well, thank you. You, you are a gem. Thank you. Um, to thank our, you. our community. You are a gem to the nation. You are a gem thank to you. the world. And we want to really help you sow yourself right yes i appreciate it yes 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 you know yes. and we all must do that right but right. we all have our gifts and talents that have them been deposited into us exactly and now we need to go out and be witnesses before yes right yeah yeah, yeah. and so uh thank you for your time once again i thank you for having me and we look forward to having you again i look forward to being here i'm ready to do it all right okay thank you <laughs>